Today's video is going to be a little different. Um, I haven't actually been out um, for a camp since the last attempt, which was a bit of an abject failure. Um, the camp when I was rained out. Um, so today I'm actually doing a test of boots. I was watching a video recently, um, Survival Russia video, where he um, suggested that he uses rubber boots um, for a lot of his hiking and stuff. Now he is um, in Russia, obviously, winter, um, where there's a lot of snow, a lot of water to cross. Um, and so quite different to us here, except where I went and attempted the camp, where I went and attempted the walking, is quite um, wet. As you saw, lots of water and mud. Now, his uh, rubber boots, we'll call them gum boots here, um, they come in all flavours. I initially thought that was a bit nuts, and there's no way I'd be doing a long walk in gum boots, but um, you can get some pretty flash boots. So what I've got on here, get some light on it, is actually a um, It's a gum boot, but with rubber. It's um, got neoprene, uh, like wetsuit material up the top and rubber on the bottom, and as you can see, quite a decent tread. So I know this is going to be incredibly waterproof, um, and it'll certainly do the job through the mud and actually avoid the leeches, of which there are a lot um, on any of those trails we go on, apparently all year round, pretty much. Um, so I'm going to try them, um, because as I say, I can't really imagine walking 25 k's in that like the Survival Russia guy says, but um, I'm going to go for a walk um, in this bushland and just try a bit of, bit of distance, probably try about yeah, five k's worth and see how I go. Well, that was a bit bizarre. Just hit this little clearing and a um, fox came up quite close. Um, just started down there and walked up here. I got it on camera, cut that in. Foxes are a scourge around here and um, that could have been the fox that killed our chickens. Well, I found the fox's den. There's some fresh 
fresh soil dug up there. And it's a big hole. Well, I've walked a fair way. And how they're going. Um, they're, they're really good. They're very strong, robust. Like this rubber is really good. The tread's great. Um, I feel quite confident sort of thundering through the bush actually. Like it might be false confidence. But I think like snake wise I'm not that concerned. I doubt they're going to get through this rubber. Um, these ones have an arch support which is good. Um, I'm wearing quite thick socks. But I think the Survivor Russia guy wears socks and foot wraps. Um, like wraps them up with a, you know, cotton material or something. That might be required because um, like the back of the foot moves quite a bit. And so I'm feeling a bit of rub there, like maybe a blister or something on that side. Um, I might try tucking them in actually because that's how I'd be doing it if it was really wet but it's sort of that movement there's no movement around here but there's movement up and down and I think it's because this stuff doesn't flex like a normal kind of boot um, which would be a lot lower anyway I'll have a go uh, they like you know they they're great I don't sort of feel like walking in a gun boot uh, potential